Hi guys. Here's my uh, continuation of cool things that Business Central can do. So we were talking about the integration with other Microsoft products um, and in continuing in this thread, I want to show you the integration with Excel. So in the olden days, um, if you wanted to make a mass change to the system, you had to export the data to Excel using rapid start or configuration package. And you had to configure that, export everything, change it, import it. Um, and now it's got a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is show you an example with the customer list. Let me just bring up my customers. And in this scenario, we're going to pretend that uh, our salesperson, Peter, is no longer with us. And we need to, re he's no longer with us because he won the lottery, just to be clear. Um, so in light of his departure, we want to go ahead and reassign his account to JR. So rather than going in record by record, which is fun, um, we're going to save a little time by going to page edit in Excel. All right. So you were able to send records to Excel before, but now you're able to actually edit them. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel. And we'll enable the integration. And you'll see here it's actually looking at my username and password. It's logging me into Business Central and evaluating my permissions. So if you don't have permission to do this, this isn't going to happen. And now I'm able to go into the salesperson code and just change all these Peters into JRs. So we'll do that. And I see I have some blank stuff here too. Oh, me. Now, when I'm all done, I can do this publish function. And what it does is it'll go and make this change in Business Central. Of course, it evaluates by permissions and it does validations. So if I were to go and change one of these to Gwen, I'm not a valid salesperson in the system, and I click on publish, it's going to give me an error. So if you make a mistake during the validation piece, it will let you know what that error is. Let's go ahead and look back at the system. And I'm just going to press F5 to refresh my screen. I'm going to press F5 this time. And there we go. The salesperson code changes for all the records. It's that easy. Super cool, right? I thought you'd like it. And you can do it all over the system. That's it. Cool stuff by Gwen. Bye. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.